we got a storm rolling in today. But uh, while we're sitting here before the storm hits, I was going to tell you guys about my lock on wind walker. It's one of my favorite ways to hunt. This is a uh, five and a half pound, six pound stand. According on whose scales you get it on. Uh, I really like this stand. There's a lot of traffic going by, people getting off work, so you have to deal with me on that. But uh, this is what I call the Death Angel setup. I run this with uh, the tree hopper woodpecker drill, and I use the little woodpecker bolts, little six inch bolts, the coated ones. And I usually hunt between 10 and 12 feet, and I can get that high with. Uh, about six bolts so uh, if you wanted to go higher you could with 10 or 12 bolts you could get you know close to 20 feet 18 to 20 feet and when I'm on uh, public land I run this with lone wolf mini sticks so it's very very light setup but one thing I like to do with this is uh, I'll show you guys let me hop up on stand one thing I like to do with this is I run my saddle with it and when I'm hunting out of a saddle I'm using this as a tree stand I just tether it right into my bridge loops right there and then I'm good to go I can sit here and bow hunt traditionally and uh use this as a traditional stand Got shots all the way around me I got stand-up shots as well you know you can stand up shoot out of the stand all the way around so yeah you kind of get it I'm using this basically as a you know a tree harness or a safety harness and uh this is a extremely lightweight saddle it's only one pound and uh this comes from outdoor made you can get it over at uh eastern wood outdoors from dano it's made by brother tk up in uh wisconsin he's a good guy i really like tk and i, I enjoy all his uh, inventions and uh this is one way to use the what i call the death angel setup so uh you gotta wear a safety harness anyway, so you might as well just get you a saddle. They're about the same price. You go out and buy an expensive safety harness, one that you trust. It's gonna cost you 150, 200 bucks. This saddle's coming in at 199, so you get the best of both worlds. So next, I will show you me in the tree. Sorry about the dog barking. She just does that. She she has to bark every video I make. And uh, when you're just getting off work and stuff, I don't got time to run out to the woods, plus there's severe thunderstorms coming, so I was going to knock this review out real quick. So just bear with me, guys. Uh, next, I will show you the saddle hunting aspect of this, of how I will use this as a hybrid stand, and uh, show you some uh, ways to saddle hunt out of the stand as well. We'll see you guys in just a second. Let me adjust my camera. Okay, guys, now i got the stand set up. I want to show you how I'm going to use this. I had to spin the camera angle around. Show you how I use it as a saddle setup. So, uh, clip into your Amsteel bridge. That seat folds out of the way. Come down here and I can see it. Now, people's gonna say, why wouldn't you just tree stand hunt out of it? Well, you can if you like. But say I'm hunting this way, sitting as a tree stand configuration and the wind's blowing this way, well, all of a sudden the wind switches. I don't wanna tire my whole setup down and have to move to another location. I can just turn around and start saddle hunting because now the wind's blowing this way. Say I know the wind was gonna switch and I was set it up, you know, setting up for that wind change. And uh, that's one thing I like about this setup. It gives me the options. So now I'm saddle hunting. And you know, I can sit here and lean. I got shots all the way around. Nothing's compromised. You can also stand up and shoot. 360 degrees, guys. That's what everybody's 
after these days is that 360 degree shot. And inside here is a piece of foam. So instead of wearing knee pads, I just put my knees against this, this foam right here. And there I am. Hybrid setup. Love this setup. This is a, a one pound saddle. You can't beat it. Go over to, like I said, Eastern Wood Outdoors. Brother TK out of Wisconsin at Outdoor Made makes these saddles. He is selling them on Eastern Wood Outdoors right now. The tether that I use, I do not use all that cone duck mechanical stuff. This is a tether that I got from some guys out of Florida. They're called Hang Free. And this tether is awesome. Look at this. You, can, you don't even have to have any type of mechanical. You just grab your tether and just pull. Grab this little orange loop. Look, you adjust your height. Pull. Adjust your height. Let down. All that good stuff. There you go. Good setup. This is my Death Angel setup. That's what I call this. Here in a little while, I'm going to film a video, probably tomorrow, uh, on the setup I call Death from Above. It's where I run this saddle with lone wolf sticks and a uh, hunting beast uh, saddle platform. This saddle hunting game, guys, has changed my life. I absolutely love it. And uh, if you're thinking about going out and buying you a safety harness, and you hunt out of a hang on, or even if you hunt it out of a climber, you can still use a hunting saddle. You're gonna pay about 200 bucks for a really nice, unless you get something, you know, from China. Everything I got right here is made in America. Every bit of it. The stand, the saddle, everything. So, if you don't care about where it's made or who touches it and who makes it, uh, you know, get your Chinese knockoff stuff. But me, I, I personally feel safer knowing that Americans made this. And uh, plus, I want to give back when I do purchase something, to, you know, to people from my country. So, uh, I really, really like this setup, guys. I really like it. This is the Death Angel setup by Tennessee Valley Outdoors. I love each and every one of you. Uh... Thank you guys and God bless until I see you again. Uh, tune in on the next one because this one's over. I love each and every one of you. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching the Tennessee Valley Outdoors YouTube show. If you would, please like and subscribe. Your subscription means so much to me and what I'm trying to do with this channel. Each week we will come on here at least twice a week and make videos and do reviews and uh, scouting videos and even this fall we're going to have some hunts for you guys so until next time thanks and god bless like and subscribe please